So without further ado, I'd like to introduce Graham McMillan, president of the Visa Foundation. He will be highlighting two recent announcements under APEC's resilience and secure pillar, which includes investments that will shore up reliable supply chains, bolster health and cyber preparedness, and support small and medium-sized businesses and enterprises across APEC economies. I would now like to invite to the stage Graham McMillan. Good afternoon. I'm Graham McMillan, President of Visa Foundation. I'm excited to share an announcement uh, that was made by our Executive Chairman Al Kelly this morning uh, of accelerated support for small and micro businesses across APEC and globally. Our announcement is comprised of three uh, key elements, and the first is a $100 million commitment from Visa Foundation to support underserved and women-led small micro-businesses across APEC economies. And this will occur over five years. Second, Visa is announcing it has exceeded its three-year uh, goal of digitally enabling 50 million small micro-businesses around the world. We've achieved that goal of 67 million, in fact. And it's important to note of that 67 million, nearly 30 million of them, in fact, were in APEC economies, and nearly 11 million of them were women-led. Finally, Visa is launching a new small micro-business accelerator initiative to further advance digital enablement of underserved small micro-businesses in the United States and in APEC economies. The specific APEC economies that we see uh, benefiting from this program will be Indonesia, Peru, Mexico, Philippines, and Vietnam. APEC is the ideal place to make these announcements and demonstrate our commitment on building inclusion, resilience, and economic growth. Thank you.